Let's perform the indicated operations. We have the quantity x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4 divided by the quantity x minus 1. We're going to set this up as a long division. We're going to place x cubed plus 3x squared. Now notice in our original polynomial we don't have an x term, but we need to make sure we hold the place for that under our division bar. So we're going to place zero x's under our division bar to hold that place and make sure our constant minus 4 is there. Long division focuses around the x term, this first piece of our binomial. We're going to take x into x cubed, and that goes in x squared times. So we're going to place it right above the x squared, kind of in the x squared column. And now we're going to multiply. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times a negative 1 is a minus x squared. Now we're going to add or subtract straight down. x cubed minus x cubed, that term is gone. 3x squared minus a minus x squared, that becomes a plus. So we'll have 3x squared plus x squared, which is 4x squared. We're now ready to bring down our next term, the 0x. And we're going to start again. x goes into 4x squared, 4x times. Let's multiply. 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x times a negative 1 is a negative 4x. We're going to subtract. I like to put the parentheses so that we make sure we follow and watch our negative signs. 4x minus 4x squared, sorry, 4x squared minus 4x squared, that term is gone, drops out. 0x minus a minus 4x becomes a plus. So 0x plus 4x is 4x. And we'll bring down our last term. x goes into 4x four times, and we'll multiply. 4 times x is 4x. 4 times a negative 1 is a negative 4. And when we subtract, 4x minus 4x is 0. Negative 4 minus a minus 4 becomes negative 4 plus 4, which is 0. So our answer, or our result, after dividing x minus 1 into x cubed plus 3x squared plus 0x minus 4 is x squared plus 4x plus 4. We also need to keep in mind, we're dividing by a binomial. We need to make sure that no value can have that denominator set equal to 0. So this x minus 1 cannot be 0. So the choice of x equals 1 is not an appropriate choice. So x cannot equal 1 in this problem.